Hello, my name is Märta Lauritsen. I am a registered nurse and urotherapist. And my name is Helena Tulin. I'm a registered nurse and PhD. And we work together at Karolinska University Hospital in Stockholm, Sweden. Today we will show how we insert indwelling catheters. First of all, it's important that the patient is informed and give his or her consent for the procedure. Secondly, it's important that the patient is relaxed so they can relax the pelvic floor muscle. And to achieve this, we can ask the patient to have the hand on the abdomen and take a deep breath. It's also important that I am comfortable with the procedure. It's something else you think about. Yes, I think of the risk for infection during catheterization. And to avoid this or decrease the risk, we have two principles that we follow and we want you to follow. First is keeping the catheter sterile during all the process. Secondly, is to protect the patient from bacteria, from ourselves and the environment. To start the procedure, we ask the patient to wash their own genitals if possible. And during that time, we prepare the catheterization. It is important to consider your own hygiene, so make sure you have antiseptics at hand, as well as plastic apron, and that you apply basic hygiene procedures. Start by opening the catheterization kit. First you will find the sterile gloves, but you can put them aside for now. Pour some sodium chloride irrigation solution into the tray. Remove the catheter from its packaging while carefully keeping its sterility and place it on the sterile field. Fill a syringe with sterile water that you will use to fill the catheter balloon with at a later stage. Only now put on the sterile gloves. Remove the EVA bag and place the catheter into the tray. Prepare the anesthetic catheter gel syringe. It is important to follow the producer's instructions. The BIP Foley catheter should be pre-wetted to activate the hydrophilic coating. You can use sterile water or some of the sodium chloride for this as long as you use cotton pads that don't release any fibers into the liquid. Separate the labia minora so you can localize the urethra. Remember that this hand is not sterile anymore after touching the patient. Using your sterile forceps, carefully clean the area to avoid any hairs, textile fibers or other particles to enter within your catheter. Bring the gel tube to the urethral opening. If you find it difficult to localize, you can put a string of gel from the clitoris towards the vagina. 
This opens up the urethral opening and you can identify it as a small black hole. Anesthetize the urethra by completely filling it with anesthetic catheter gel. Use 1 gram gel per centimeter urethra, meaning that for a woman you need approximately 5 to 10 gram gel. Sometimes the patient might feel a slight stinging just after the gel is used. When you have emptied the entire tube, hold against the urethra for a little while, so that the gel doesn't come back out. Use your sterile hand to insert the catheter into the urethra. This shouldn't hurt. Insert the catheter approximately half of its length to make sure the balloon is all the way in the bladder. Get some urine in exchange before you fill the catheter balloon with a fluid and precise amount that the catheter producer recommends. Remember to constantly observe the patient, also this step shouldn't hurt. After you have completed this procedure, make sure the catheter is positioned correctly and can move freely. Finally attach a urinary bag, or like in this case a valve, and teach the patient how to close it and open it again to empty the bladder.